You know, after all these years, Ellen is going off the air on Channel 9, and that tomorrow's her last day. These are reruns right now, but you knew the season was ending. So, staring at Monday, we have a new lead-in to our 4 p.m. newscast. That's a show that's been on our air, but at a different time slot for five years now. It's Daily Blast Live. Now it's moving to 3 p.m. The show that has been on earlier the day will now come on right before our 4 o'clock news. If you haven't seen the show yet, it's handled by a very opinionated group of hosts talking about the <laughs> topics of the day. One of those very opinionated hosts is joining us here at 4 o'clock. This nationally televised show is made here in Denver every day, and Jeff Schroeder is joining us today. And we've had fun talking to some of your co-hosts this yes. week. Uh, how do you put up with them? Thank, well, thank you for having me, first and <laughs> foremost. But it's nice to vent, so let's do that now. <laughs> you and Al are outnumbered. We are, and Al's my homie. You're going to have him on tomorrow. You guys are going to see Al Jackson. Stay tuned. We get each other's backs. If you watch the show, if I'm, like, sinking, Al will throw me a life vest. You know what I mean? While the other girls are throwing me rocks. So, yeah, but we're family out there. We're family, uh, honestly, when it comes to it. We're going into year six, and we were chatting a little bit before. It really is amazing, you know, the accomplishment on daytime television going that long. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we love hard, and we hate hard, and we're family, you know, but we're all going to have Thanksgiving together. So that's the important thing. So tell us about the show because if some, many people don't get to see it at one o'clock. Now we'll get the chance to see it at three and maybe have not seen DBL as we call it. Right. What is DBL to you? So DBL to me is an honest conversation, you know, that people are having. And we're in Denver, and I know to the outside world that might not mean a lot, but we're not playing that Hollywood card. We're not just no. telling stories and giving the answers that people want to hear or social media wants to hear. We're going to explore all aspects of it, right? All the hosts range from California to D.C. and the mid Midwest in between. We're all from somewhere different, and we all have different opinions. But at the end of the day, we could move on and respect each other while we're having those conversations. Conversations. I think the biggest problem in America right now is I still don't know if it's divisive or d divisive. I don't know which one to say. I know, I go After either six way. years, it's I not good. I still don't know. It's not good. <laughs> it's putting it's putting us against each other. And people, families are breaking up over things like this and politics and opinions. And at least on this show, you're going to get a little bit of something you like, something you don't like, and watch us be friends at the end of it. I know. I miss those days when you have a family gathering and everybody's like, no, no, but you still afterwards hug each other. Right? Yeah. And now it's like families are breaking up because of Facebook. It's it's a little ridiculous. So it's, it's real TV, which isn't like reality TV, which is where we first <laughs> saw yeah. you Big and brother. where you met your wife and you were on Big Brother way back a few years ago. 13 years ago. Really? I thought we were going to pull a clip with my shirt off somewhere. <laughs> oh, <boy. Isn't laughs> Those days are long gone. <laughs> no, Tuck in the chin. Not. Yeah, so 13 years ago, I met my wife unassumingly going on this reality show, not really knowing what it was. I remember uh, a funny story is someone told me, like, hey, and during the audition process, say you want to be in a showmance. I'm like, what's a showmance? And they're like, it's a romance on the show. I'm like, oh, that's oh. hilarious. I'm going to say that. And lo and behold, I have two kids now with, uh, <laughs> with, with the woman I met on Big Brother. So we had an amazing experience um, meeting her. We got to do so many things with CBS. I learned my chops hosting there. It actually put me in this chair. So very blessed for, for everything I had Do you like past. reality TV? Do I a lot do. Of people don't. I mean, you, you obviously liked it enough to be on it. I did. Well, again, it got me here, right? It's a stepping stone. So it got me there and it got me working, hosting for uh, CBS, got me to do a lot of travel channel shows or travel shows with CBS where I got to learn a little bit more. But yeah, I got to break that fourth wall in the sense working there. So I got to see, be a player as well as be behind the camera as well, which is very cool. Yeah, reality TV, I don't know much about, really. I don't get to watch well, you it work, You work at nights gathering and I know, disseminating news. I know, and but I, it's interesting to hear your perspective on that. Yeah. So, what is your why, your family, everybody, what do they think of Denver and Colorado? They love it. They love it. My brother in law's in town. I told them to tune in. They better be watching right <laughs> now. So, there's my family, uh, my Aww. wife and my lovely two boys, Lawson and Leighton. They're five and three now. I think that picture got in there by accident, but nevertheless, <laughs> we, that's up at, <laughs> that's up at Grand Lake, my goofy one. See, we're going fishing at Grand Lake. We like to get out and about here in Colorado, hit the mountain towns up, uh, like to bring my kids outside, but we love it. We came from a 700 square foot apartment in Los Angeles, blessed enough to get the job at Daily Blast Live. Now we have a house and a beautiful family. I couldn't ask for more. I hear a little Chicago in here. It's, listen, it's never gonna leave. <laughs> okay. You take the boy out of Chicago, right? <laughs> we can't take the Chicago out of the boy. There, right? 
right? Yeah? I did. Okay. I did. I All did. All right. That's yeah. cool. There's a lot of folks from Chicago and Colorado, in case you haven't heard. There is. There Everywhere. is. Listen, you go to a, I, I say you want to go to a Cubs game. It's the Rockies game. <laughs> but you go to any, like, the Blackhawks are in town, the Cubs are in town. It's packed. I went to a Bears game last time they're in town. It's split. Oh, it's split Colorado 50 -50. fans love seeing all those Blackhawks games, fans at the, at the game. Oh, yeah. They dig hey, it. Hey, listen, you guys got our number now. You, I, as a matter of fact, I'm an avalanche fan now. <laughs> there you go. Good He's choice. Nice. We Jeff, got it's great cup. to see you, and we look forward to seeing you every afternoon right before our show. It's nice. Yeah, to see we got to have you guys over on our show. I don't know if you can afford her, but I'll do it. <laughs> her. Right. It's a long story, huh? Yeah, yeah, right. We're excited. Thank you so much. Okay. Really, thanks for promoting us, and uh, hopefully, the p folks just tuning in with the new hour really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. just remember it's Monday. You can catch DBL at the new time from 3 to 4 o'clock every Monday through Friday, right here on 9 News. And Jeff, we'll be seeing you Monday. All right, thank you guys.